So Tim, uh, this was your first game uh, after the transfer. How did you feel on the ice uh, with, you, with your new teammates? Uh, I felt all right. I thought the game was a game went on our line, played better. I'm you know, playing with two guys I never played with before, but they're very, very talented players. Um, obviously, at the end of the day, we lost. So I was just saying it before, you know, I don't want to be the bad luck guy, but uh, it's just game one, and, and um, I'm trying to, you know, I just want to do everything I can to help this team win. Uh, during the first period, you played well, uh, the team played well. Uh, until Zug's first goal, then he struggled a bit uh, uh, going in the offensive part uh, of, the, of the field. Uh, what happened in the, the part of the first period and the second period? Uh, I just think we, you know, you saw later in the game when we were kind of establishing our forecheck and getting on their D harder, I think we were creating turnovers. Um, you know, I thought it was all right to start, but yeah, like you said, when they scored, we kind of sat back and. You know, I don't know if that's a situation from earlier in the year, but um, we got to let things like that go and just keep pushing and keep going. And there are flashes of good things tonight when, when we worked hard. We just got to gotta work hard all the time. In the first period, you have a good reaction, uh, but you couldn't tie the game at the end uh, despite some good chances. Uh, in a tight game like this, uh, the special teams are very important and the power play struggled a bit against uh, Azuk's pressure on his play. Uh, you're here from not so long, but as you can see, what went wrong in this power plays? Um, I think we just weren't shooting enough. I think the entire game we didn't shoot enough. We got a lot of guys here, you know, I just got here, but just from playing against these guys and being in practice, everyone could shoot the puck really well. So I think the biggest thing is we just weren't getting pucks to the net. And, that, and even on our power play, we're kind of just moving around. And they pressured us good, but, you know, we got to focus on more getting pucks to the net. Uh, you did a week, of, a week of training with your new teammates uh, and now you can say what are the biggest difference again between uh, Lugano and Bill in the gameplay and what about Doug Shedden compared with Kevin Schlepfer? Well, you know, Doug I've known for a long time now. Um, got a little bit more history with him. He's a North American guy. Um, he's a little bit more comfortable playing under his system, I think. Um, but I just know from day one already in this locker room and, and the tempo and practice and how hard guys are working, this isn't a team that's just trying to make playoffs. We think we can win the win everything. So, you know, the goal is to get into the playoffs and then, you know, we're, gonna, we're trying to win a championship here. Um, so it's definitely, you can see on the faces of the players that everyone does want to win. Uh, there were five foreign players in Beal. There are five foreign players here. Uh, in your opinion, uh, is this a good thing for the team, uh, for you, for the foreign players? Uh, or for you, there is uh, too much pressure on the player uh, with this situation? No, I don't think there's... I mean, there's pressure for me. I'm 33 years old, so <laughs> my, you know, my career has been long. I'm, I'm just trying to help. If I'm in the lineup, I'm in and I'm going to work my hardest. I think uh, it's never good when you have five imports, I think, at first. But I think on this team, it's good. I think we all get along well and we all understand that it's it's a competitive job so whatever four guys are ready to play he's going to play and you know like the next guy's up ready to go and I, I don't think uh, it should be a negative thing. Uh, your weekend is over now but Tuesday there is uh, another uh, important game against, against Cloten, a uh, must-win game uh, to keep climbing the standings. Yeah every game counts when you when you crawl into a hole uh, in the beginning of the year um, Every game matters right now. I mean, there's not enough games, right? You know, there's 20-something games. So we got to take every game one game at a time and just build goals and try to get as many points as we can. Uh, you played in the NHL uh, a few years ago, and you will be remembered as the player that scored the last game in history of Atlanta Treasure. What memory have you about that, uh, that moment? Um, I don't know. It was, I had a good time in Atlanta. I remember the goal was against Pittsburgh. So kind of just a lucky goal in front of that. But I didn't think it was going to be the last goal. I think if you ask anyone that trivia question, I don't know if many people would get the answer on that. Um, but, um, yeah, obviously any time you could score in the NHL, it's a dream. You know, that was my dream to play in the NHL. And, and um, you know, those are things I'll always remember.